Hi, this is Rob with Whole Earth, and I'm out here today to talk to you about vitamin D. And vitamin D, as you may know, is an essential nutrient. That means that it's required by the body. Everybody needs vitamin D. And the odds are, if you're like most Americans, you may not be getting enough. And one misconception about vitamin D, a lot of people, uh, you hear people say, if you get enough sunlight, if you get enough sun exposure, that you're gonna have enough vitamin D. That is not necessarily true. And the research shows that there are folks who get plenty of sun exposure and their body does not make enough vitamin D. It's even less true that you get enough if you're wearing sunscreen because sunscreen can block the body's natural production of vitamin D. So a lot of natural health uh, professionals are looking at blood levels of about 40 as, as a good marker. And uh, there was some really interesting research that came out just recently. Uh, and this is about the pandemic that's going on, about the disease COVID-19 and the blood levels of vitamin D in the folks that have contracted that terrible disease. And what they found was that there was a high correlation with the higher blood levels of vitamin D and survival rates and uh, how people respond to the virus. So folks that had the highest levels of vitamin D were less likely to die or to have some other terribly severe reaction to the infection. So therefore, uh, based on that research, um, the folks that published this study are finding that uh, vitamin D may in fact have a protective effect. Now, nutritional supplement companies are never gonna tell you that their product, vitamin D or anything else, can prevent, treat, uh, mitigate, uh, lessen your severe severity of your infection or something like that because that's a disease claim those are uh, those are illegal basically in this country dietary supplement companies can't make those kind of claims but I can tell you that because I am saying look at this research and I'm gonna put a link to this new study um, thanks to Paul Bergner from uh, the North American Institute of Medical Herbalism who had uh, published the link to that study, just recently came out, really interesting research. And uh, so I'm gonna put that link in the description uh, to this video. Also, um, I think I've posted this before, but I'm gonna put a link to the FAQ from the Weill Center for Integrative Medicines. Natural health experts used to recommend supplementing with about 400 IUs, which was the uh, US RDI, recommended daily intake for a long time. These days, a lot of practitioners are recommending more around 5,000 IUs and having your levels checked regularly. It's very unlikely that uh, that level is gonna be too much. And so depending on your weight, depending on your age, depending on a lot of other factors, you should supplement with vitamin D. D3 is the active form. Uh, I would not recommend supplementing with vitamin D2. So take D3, it's a fat soluble nutrient. So if you take it, uh, your body is, is likely to store it up and to help bring those blood levels of vitamin D up, which is something very important for good health in general. So uh, take a look in the description, look at that research. I think it's really interesting. And thanks for listening.